with me, it happening to me, it gave me a, being paralyzed because I was shot. Um, I was shot in 2004. Shot me five times, twice in the chest, tw um, twice in the, um, once in the back, and then one in each leg. Um, they caught me pretty good. I gave them credit for it. Um, I have no hate, no animosity towards the people that shot me. Um, I understand what they did. I understand why they did it. Like I said, I wasn't like a good kid. I was violent. I was a shooter. I was trying to kill them, just seeing as they were trying to kill me. Being involved in gangs, it's it's a, it's an odd life because you're around people that they we want to do good for each other, but our means of trying to get there is horrendous because it's like oh I'll kill for you, I'll die for you, da da da. But nobody wants to live for you. Um, Nobody wants to help you get a job. Nobody thinks about it that way. Um, they just look at it in a very short mind because their lives, they don't plan on living long. Most kids do not understand that 15, 16, when they join the gang, it's cool. Everybody's doing it. But when you start seeing losses and friends die, go to jail, it starts to hit you, but you don't really start realizing until as you get older. So that's why as street workers, we're trying to let these kids know at a young age, this is the repercussions of what you're doing. A lot of these kids, they don't have any positive role models in their life. All the people that are older are telling them, yeah, give them the gun. Hey, you go do it, you go do it. And they feel that that's what they're supposed to do. A lot of us come from that lifestyle and it's easy to interact with these kids um, because they understand that we know what we're talking about. I, we just do not want to see them going through the same stuff. I'd hate to see any kid I know that is end up shot, paralyzed or anything, end up in jail. It's heartbreaking.